Hi, thanks for watching. This video is going to show you how to install one of these eBay rear view cameras come braking lights designed for the Fiat Ducato. Uh, this is a very good product. It gives you very good clear pictures and it's a wide system and it sits up high and for tall vehicles like the Fiat Ducato this is the best system. It's best to keep away from two things. One are the low level sort of video cameras and the other thing to keep away from are these uh, wireless systems. They just do not work. Uh, keep well away from them. The wired systems are the only way that you will get clear consistent results. And this is how it'll look when it's all done. Very professional. Uh, people won't be able to tell that uh, you've actually added this on because it just looks like the standard braking light. Next up, you're going to have to think about, you know, how you're going to power it. Are you going to power it using the vehicle's battery or the auxiliary battery, the motorhome battery? Uh, for my motorhome, I've decided to use the motorhome battery uh, because it gives me peace of mind because I'll, I'll leave it running even with the engine off and that way I'm able to monitor what's going on behind the, the vehicle. I'm not worried about uh, power consumption because I keep my batteries fully charged with solar panels on my roof. So for me, it was an easy choice to keep it to the auxiliary. Here you can see me testing the camera and the monitor. And for this, I use a small four amp hour battery to make my tests. I also opted to use the smaller screen rather than the bigger one that came with the unit. The three main components of the system are the camera, the monitor and a long video cable which connects the camera located at the back of the van to the monitor and the dashboard. Now the other special thing about this video cable is that it also runs power. So you can actually use the same power source for both the camera and the monitor. When I removed the brake light it soon became obvious that the rear view camera kit wasn't designed for, for my 2017 Ducato. It wouldn't just slot in. Um, I had to remove these two steel bolts before it was able to slot in. And the second problem was that uh, the wires had to be connected manually. That is to say the braking lights had to be connected manually. You couldn't just clip them together. So I had to cut off the clip, uh, strip back the wires and do the connections. So this will require a little bit of uh, skill if you were thinking of doing this yourself. After confirming that my connections were done correctly and the brake light was working, I was now ready to run the video cable uh, through the top of the van down the side. And to find a channel, I used this flexible electrician's tool. Uh, basically, it's a method of uh, jamming it down until you find the right spot, which uh, is seen here. Uh, until it snakes down the side and pops through the other end and then you pull it out <clears throat> and now using some um, electrical tape I've connected the video cable to the plastic flexible bit and pulled it out carefully up to the top. Next up I looked for power and I was lucky enough to find a lighting cable, a live lighting cable so I connected that to a junction box so I was able to easily uh, power up the camera. Uh, for the negative part, the whole vehicle is negative, so you can just screw, screw, up, uh, uh, screw down to any part of the vehicle body for your negative. So now I'll show you how I uh, managed to place and secure the light without having to drill through and ruin the interior. And to do that, I used a few pieces of plywood uh, which I was able to stick in and basically I was able to use um, timber screws through the unit uh, a little bit longer than what they had supplied so you can see it here sticking out and I was able to secure it quite firmly onto the body of the car. Uh, don't forget of course uh, that you should use the rubber gasket which came with the original light uh, use the tools and make sure you get the whole thing done right and waterproofed. Okay, so we've got the cable 
running through here. I just tucked it away here so that it's nice and neat. Tucked it away behind the uh, rubber here and I used these kind of tools, upholstery tools, and tucked it away there. Then I used a Torx head, removed four screws, one, two, and two more underneath. So I was able to lift this up and ran the cable underneath. It comes out this way. Doing it this way saves you from having to ah uh, to take out lights or drill a hole through the body of the car. The screws very straightforward. One, two, three. Uh, two more here. This pops right off very easily. Uh, for this one here, though, I think I've got to lift this up a little bit more, and that reveals another screw. Screw and another screw, and then just unscrew these three here. Getting to this screw here was difficult, um, was impossible actually without taking off the side panel here. So, removing that was quite easy, just three screws, and now I have access to this last screw holding down this doorstep thing. Okay, so, this looks how it looks with everything taken out. Now, thank goodness that Fiat have very kindly made an opening here. It's, it's, you'll find it covered with a piece of rubber, and there is another opening at the bottom, and that's covered by something like this. So just pop it out, and you should be able to run your cable through here. But of course, make sure that you seal, uh, put, put a lot of sealant around it to waterproof, the, especially the bottom of the uh, vehicle. If you look down, from a 45 degree angle, we'll actually see how it goes through. So I've used my um, plastic electrician's searcher thing to find the connection. Here's my video cable running through here. Um, I've been able to join the cable uh, and follow the path. And all I'm left with is just enough to reach, uh, to reach the vital area here where the um, monitor will sit, the dashboard monitor. Okay, that's working well. I've been very easily been able to push in all the cables and hide all the cables in there. And so it's nice and neat and it's ready to be closed. Everything's been put together. It looks neat. I dare say as good as what it was originally.